Hey, uh, this is Terry from Fiberscope.net. Today we're going to talk about the Trogle Pro Pan and Tilt uh, push camera unit. We are one of the official dealers for these units in North America, so um, they're made in the UK. Uh, very solid quality, very solid build, um, and we'll go over some of the features with you for these. When you get the unit, you're going to notice that the monitor is going to be on the side along with some of the cables, so you're going to want to have to adjust that and move it around. It'll actually just kind of pop off of the um, of the um, coated finish for the reel. So easy enough to move, but just be careful when you receive it that it still is like that and nothing's going to move during shipping. Um, starting on this side, you'll notice that there's the battery unit and the processor, and then there's also the power. So your power is here. You've got your um, reel on here, your cable, as well as your on-screen foot counter. And then you'll have to adjust the camera probe to go through the spool feeder and then also to attach your camera head. So camera heads are removable from here. Um, you basically just screw it in or unscrew it here. You want to make sure it's a tight connection because that's going to help waterproof the unit. These units should be waterproof to 11 bars so it's quite able to take a lot of pressure. Um, camera head itself is very heavy and you've got pins on the back so you want to make sure those are properly inserted and it's screwed on tight before you start using it. Um, the unit will come with a little skid already installed on it. There are larger skids that come with, so you can expand this to help center it in bigger pipes. And then the camera head itself will have a few different features for moving it around, uh, panning it, tilting it, and then also uh, some sub-leveling features too. Um, on here, you're going to have a keyboard that folds out. There's also a little sun shield too if you need it. So if you're working in sunlight and you want to read it in the daytime, you've got that. Um, the way that the unit's set up, once the camera head and everything is connected, this is waterproof, this is waterproof, the keyboard's waterproof, the bottom of the monitor can get a little wet too. So you're actually okay using this in rainy conditions or even in areas that have water that are coming up, like waves, stuff like that. Um, on the back of here, there's a connection that you need to redo between the keyboard and the screen. And then there's also another wire that comes here from the reel. So this would be your foot counter, your video image and stuff coming into the monitor. There's also a connection here for your compact flash memory card. So on here, you can open up the connection, put in the memory card and seal it back up so that it's also watertight. Um, you just do that by releasing the little pin on the back here. So when you pull this up, it'll separate and you can remove this um, when you install your card, you want to make sure that it's on tight and that you're not going to have any issues with water leaking in there. To turn the unit on, you simply hit the button on the side here. You should notice your screen startup and your camera head will auto position. The LED lights should come on right away. Um, for the unit, there is a microphone. Like we said, there's a compact flash memory card so you can save images and video on there. Camera head's in color. It's a pretty solid unit. You're not really going to have too many problems that way. It will be set up initially to be self-leveling. So you'll notice that the image is always going to be right side up no matter how you move the camera head. To get rid of that, you want to hit the iris buttons on the keyboard. So you're going to go to borehole mode. It's going to turn the automatic self-leveling off. That way, if you move the camera unit over, it's not going to flip upside down. Um, on here, you've got a focus, so if you can see here, this is not going to be in focus. When you hold this down, it becomes clear. You can get right up to the front of the camera head, adjust your focus so that everything's in sight and clear. If you want to pan out to see the whole room, you can do that too. So once you're in a pipe, as long as you have enough light in the area, you can see very far down or you can see in a wide disbursement. So for larger areas, 12 inch, 24 inch, 36, um, you're going to want to use something like this where you can adjust that focus range. For the camera head itself, you've got your tilt function here. So that's just your side to side movement. You've got your rotation function, which rotates the camera head around in a circle. So you can see the top, the bottom of the pipe, um, no issues that way. You have your auto home, so it'll center. If you hit your auto home, that'll also rotate your camera chip back. 
So it's back to self-leveling. If you don't want that, you can turn it off. Just hitting the small button of the iris. And that'll also allow you to manually rotate just the camera chip itself. So if you're in a tight area where you don't really want to rotate the camera head around, you can just do the camera head itself. Um, center part of the console is going to be your DVR. So that's where you're going to save images and video. Um, it'll save onto the memory card, and then you can go over them after. Keyboard, so you can put in pages of text for your saved files. There is a microphone, so you can also use that if you want to do audio recordings for your videos. Um, the reel is going to be machined. The push cable is going to be a really hard reinforced Kevlar. You're looking at about a half inch in diameter. Camera head is a really hard stainless steel. You're not going to have any issues damaging that. There is a protection as well for the camera head in the front, so even if you bump up against something, it's not going to be an issue, and you can adjust the focus so you know how far away you are. Um, camera head is going to be waterproof to 11 bars, so you're going to have a lot of pressure that you can insert this down into. Uh, same with the reel, you're looking at a lot of scratch resistance abrasion proof. The monitor is going to come with a sun shield, so you can use it in a bright daylight. The keyboard and the monitor are both machined aluminum, so you're not going to have any issues there with plastic or chipping anything. It's going to be a really solid build. Um, you can close it both ways, up or down. So if you need to, you can transport it that way. The unit itself has a handle on the side, so you can pick it up. You're looking at about 50 or 60 pounds, so it's not that hard to take and transport to your site if you need to, or to throw in a truck and uh, set it up that way. There is also a handbrake on the side, so if you're inserting it or, or rolling it back in, you want to make sure that you're releasing this each time. Um, same thing with dropping it down into areas. So if you're doing a well inspection or a duct inspection, you want to watch that as well.